Thinking of the past summer days, I have decided to paint this bench in light, bright colors. As a base color, I am choosing Annie Sloan Capability Green and painting every each way, covering the whole piece. How Annie Sloan described it, Capability Green is a warm, natural green inspired by the beauty of the English landscape. Use it to bring the soothing qualities of the outdoors indoors. After I finished painting the surface, I will take the drawers out, paint the sides of them, and leave them out to dry. For my second cover, I will be using the Capability Green, the Antibes Green, and the Riverney. A brush for each color and a water spray bottle. I start with applying Capability Green to the corners and the low points. Then, applying Antibes Green randomly, but in one direction, only up and down. You will see later why I am painting this way. Without letting it dry, I am applying the same way Riverny. I am often spraying the paint with water to make the paint thinner. Then, with the help of my water spray, I blend the two colors together, using the same brush and adding some more of Antibes Green, spraying and blending. Refreshing the corners with Capability Green and ever so slightly spreading it down, blending with the other colors. I do not blend the colors too well into each other, as I want each color to be visible. Here, how it looks when it is dry. My next step is the old white chalk paint, diluted with water, about one part of paint to two parts of water. I am applying a very thin coat of it, spraying it with more water. Here, you can use more or less of the white depending on how much of the other colors you want to be seen. As you can see here, I am leaving the corners and the edges dark. When it is completely dry, I am sanding the whole surface with a fine sandpaper. I want the bench to look like it is made of the pieces of wood, so I am dividing it to the pieces. Then, 
applying a sticking tape and a good amount of the old white paint. The paint should be very thick, almost dry. If it is runny, it can go underneath of the tape. On this part, there are already grooves, so I am just sticking the tape on their edges and painting white inside the grooves. After letting the piece dry and dusting it, I am covering it with water-based varnish. I will apply two or three coats of it because it is a bench and will be used a lot. I have just finished decorating this little space in our basement. The basement looked like this when we bought the house, but we divided it to a few purposeful spaces. And here, this little sitting area is finished. Now we can sit here and plan our next projects. I want to give this piece a real summer vibe choosing light and bright colors. But I have painted another bench recently, giving it a moody, worn-out look. Click on the following video or a link below to watch it. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I'll see you soon with my new project.